Hi and welcome, my name is Martinez and this is devlog number one of, well, let's save it for later. As I finished developing my last game called Ready Steady Ship, I found myself in a position where I needed to make something new. And now I know that before starting developing a new game, you have to think through a lot of things. Just the idea is mostly not enough. From my experience, I like to think through a lot of different aspects. Starting from the game idea itself. Is it really as good as it sounds? Then it comes to market. Does this idea have the audience and the market? Then it goes to competition. Does this game have a strong competition? And what makes my idea somehow unique? And of course technical side. How much time does it take to develop and is it doable at all? And moving to the last one, which is, I think, is the most crucial, personal interests. Do I even want to develop this kind of game? So these are the questions I need to answer before starting making a game concept. Alright, now that I explained my process of how I start approaching the development of any game, let's talk about what I settled down over the past couple of weeks. What I found weird about myself and my game ideas is that I mostly play atmospheric and story-driven games. Yet, my game ideas are always silly and dumb in some way or another. I admire physics-driven games and I feel a bit more confident developing these kind of games than the others. I had a fun time playing Human Fall Flat, Party Animals, Fall Guys and Gang Beasts, so I decided I want to go in that direction this time. These games have one thing in common, active ragdoll. I have never done this mechanic before, so I see it as a major technical challenge, which can lead to choosing a different idea. So to see if I was capable of going in that direction, I decided to make a quick prototype. And to be honest, I always approach game ideas this way, writing down a quick list of features and developing them into a short gaming experience, sort of like a game jam. Let's get technical. Well, first of all, what I'm trying to achieve. In the prototype, I want to make a basic active ragdoll and its locomotive. Make that ragdoll can pick up a gun and shoot some stuff. Make it possible to play with a friend, like an online multiplayer. Well, that's quite a list, huh? But the way I see it, these are the most mandatory aspects that make my game idea work. And what is that idea? I may not have a brain, gentlemen. But I have an idea. I still haven't told anything about it, and I won't, at least for now. I plan to reveal bit by bit in every devlog video, so it will be more exciting. For now, this much is enough. Let's move on to making of active ragdoll. First of all, what I need is to make a temporary character for the ragdoll. Nothing fancy here, just a quick humanoid with the right proportion and that is it. Since I don't need any fancy rig for now, I'll just pop this into Mixamo and it rigs the character automatically. Cool, now let's import it into Unity and configure the actual ragdoll. So the base idea is simple, I have one rig system that is fully driven by the physics and the other one, actually it's an invisible one, that is driven by the animator. I run the script on every physics rig join that needs to rotate, which copies the animator rig rotation to the physics rig. It's that simple, really. Well, when you open up the configurable join component, you can see how many different properties it has. And to make it work properly, you have to balance everything. It's not a big deal, a lot of trial and error of different values until it feels right. And you do that for every bone of a rig. I spent a couple of days on the active ragdoll itself just to make it walk around. Now let's try to pick up a gun. So I imported the temporary gun model from the internet, it's ok for now. To pick up something from the ground, the character has to lean towards and stretch his arms. To achieve that, I made a separate animator layer with an avatar mask just for the spine and hands. There I have a blend tree with two different poses, standing straight and leaning towards. I interpolate these values with a simple animator float parameter. And now it finally reaches the gun. Now to grab the gun, I assign the trigger colliders for the both hands and made a custom script. When the player presses the grab key, it checks if there is a grabbable item inside the hand's trigger. And if there is, it grabs it. The grabbing itself is simple. It adds the configurable joint to the grabbable item, which connects the grabbable item and the player's hand. Let's see how it works in action. 
I think it turned out just great. Now, let's write a short camera control script that lets orbit around the player. Cool! I spent some time on the camera controller, now it started to look more like a game. Time for the most fun part, the shooting. So, first of all, I made a gun class that derives from the grabbable objects class. Now I know when the gun is being held by the player and I can move further. The shooting mechanic is actually very simple. I added some particles on the end of a gun to make it more visually appealing. The script itself, nothing too much going on here. When I press shoot, it adds a bit of knockback on the gun itself and casts a ray forward. If it hits something, I create the bullet hole on the wall. I added a couple of particles on the bullet hole to make it more impactful. And let's see how it shoots. I think it looks decent for now. It's very inaccurate, but this is what I'm going for. I also added a jumping mechanic. It's still a bit stiff and needs more balancing, but it does the job for now. So once the active ragdoll locomotive is done, and the shooting done as well, the last thing for this quick prototype is online multiplayer. Well, the online networking is a long story. I won't explain too much in this part, cause it should be a separate video. Simply, I used netcode and relay to make the simple user connection. Networking is also a new topic for me, so I don't want to talk about things I'm not sure of and possibly confuse anyone. But yeah, I made it work for now. Guys, let me know if you are interested in networking, so then I could show you how I implemented it and made it work. Well, I made sure that all these three technical difficulties could be worked out, and from what I'm feeling and seeing right now, I think we have a green light for full game production. That being said, I suppose it's a first devlog of a long upcoming development series. Let me know if you like the direction I'm going for, and guys. Feel free to share some thoughts in the comments. Thank you for watching and take care.